Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how we can implement a multi-tenancy on Laravel and Filament on Filament 3, you can call the documentation and we have a documentation for that. So let's search for multi-tenancy and here we have an example. Now the term multi-tenancy is broad and may mean different things in different contexts but a filaments tenancy system implies that the user belongs to many tenants for example organizations, uh, teams, companies, etc. and may switch between them. Now if your case is simpler and you don't need a many-to-many -many relationship then you don't need to set up a tenancy in filament you could use observers and global scopes and you have an example here but let's set up a uh, setting up tenancy and we have an example here for team so to set up a tenancy we need to specify the tenant like team or organization model in the configuration first let's create a project and for that we need a model and i'm going to work with team but it's the same with organization or something else companies and so on so let me just open the terminal and run the laravel new and I'm going to use the tnylia slash filament repository. So let's do that and let's name this uh, filament dash uh, tenancy. Okay, hit enter. It's going to create the project. And then we need to create the model migration for the team. And then on the configuration, we need to specify the tenant passing the model. Okay, so let's run that. I'm going to open the project with uh, Windserve. So let's cd and let's open this with uh, Windserve. And the first thing I'm going to change here is the SQLite to be not MySQL but Postgres. Okay, so change the port to be something like this. And the database name in my case is not like this but is laravel which i use for demos here and the username is not a root the username is uh, postgres and yeah the password in my case is empty so let's save this let's come here and let's run artisan make model and i'm going to make a team model and for now let's add just migration and let's come here and let's open the teams migration what we need for teams is yeah this yeah you can add also the logo but i'm going to leave it like this just the name and the slug uh, now we need also if we come here scroll down yeah we need the relationship between the user and the team so here we have a belongs to main relationship so we need to create a pivot table for that but instead of that let's create right here a schema create team user function blueprint and so on yeah table id version id for team id and the user id but i prefer to have version id for passing here the team model okay and the same thing for the user just let's import the user model and i think we are good scroll down also we need to drop if exists the team user and i'm going to save close and let's open the terminal and run the artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed and now we are good Next, let's go and add the tenant on the configuration file and we are the past team because we created the team model. Open the admin panel provider. But here you may have a different panel, but I have created the admin and with a scroll down at the end I'm going to add a tenant. Okay, here we need to specify the model as you can see. In my case, it's going to be theme class. And yeah, let's save this. Let's scroll down. Now you also need to tell Filament which tenants our user belongs to. 
and we need to go to user model and say implements filament user and has tenants so let's do that let's open and let's close this and let's open the user model and let's say here implements the filament user and also the has tenant tenants like this now yeah we need to create some methods here or let's just copy what we have in filament I'm going to paste it right here and also we need to add yeah let's import first belongs to many relationship also we need to import the collection illuminate support collection and then what yeah so the panel from filament then also the model and i think we are good yeah we need to implement the can access panel for the user so let's say function can access panel and for now whether done true okay so we have now themes belongs to many relationship then get tenants which can return a collection of themes then can access tenant and here we say this themes relationship where key passing the tenant exists if it exists it's going to return true otherwise false we cannot access that and let's save let's close this let's see now what we need yeah adding a tenant registration page so on the app filament pages uh, tenancy create this file or you can create somewhere else and add the namespace and you also handle the registration team create and then team members now on the team we need to create this members method so let's do that let's open the team model and yeah also here we need to add the protected fillable uh, name and also the slug we have also the slug here then create a users belongs to many relationship let's import that belongs to many but instead of users we need this member so let's change that to be members or we can use users and then here on the handle registration we can say team users attach the user so let's let's leave it like this now if you prefer if you don't prefer that you can make that members and just copy and paste this uh, file somewhere to... or let's copy first the path here and then let's go in here and inside the app i'm going to create a new file and just paste that in let's say php here and then let's copy what we have paste that in. okay so register team now here we need to change that in my case let's make it users attach the auth user and return the team and here we have text input make for the name and the same thing let's do for the slug also because we have also the slug and i'm going to save it let's close let's close also this one and let's see who created this one you may add the form component so on the configuration file we need to say tenant registration and passing this register team file so let's open the admin again so admin panel provider and now let's say uh, tenant registration passing the register team class and yeah we need to import that let's save let's come here 
we have done also that now adding a tenant profile which is the same thing but i'm not going to do that right now then you also have billing but let's see let's open this project and i'm going to go to the admin panel and just let me add one more toy time artisan migrate fresh just to see if i have that now we have this test example and yeah as you can see now we are if i see admin new to create a new team so register a team and let's name it laravel and uh, the slug is going to be laravel with the register the theme and yeah if i zoom it we are here we have this drop down we can register a new team so let's say register a team again and i will say filament here oh also filament for the slug register and now we have laravel and filament now let me just open here and make an artisan make colon filament resource user and i want to say generate here now refresh we have users and now the model app model user does not have a relationship named team you can change that relationship being used by passing it to the ownership relationship argument of the tenant method in the configuration or you can change the relation being used per resource so by setting it as a dollar sign tenant ownership relationship name static property on the user resource class okay because we don't have a team relationship in our uh, user model so let's copy this and let's open the user not here let's close this let's open the user resource and here we have make name email email verified and the password but let's add also the protected static not string tenants in navigation group but i'm going to add this tenant ownership and let's make this teams because we have a relationship teams in our uh, user so if i open the user model we have the relationship teams here so let's save this and let's go back and refresh now yeah we have users here okay now let's say if we want to create a new user and let me just go here because i don't want this email verified out okay so i'm going to say john for name and john uh, at the dot com for password for the email and add the password as well let me just go or let me open the table class and yeah we have two teams right now laravel if i go to team user here we have a team id one and team id two and user id one and user id one here on both of them now if i create this let's create the use this user i'm going to say not now go back refresh so it's john doe and let's come here and refresh now this user because i created that user also we have here team id 2 and user id 2 this user is associated to this team which we are right now filament okay let me just go on the laravel go to users and now we have only the test user we are on the laravel team if we go to filament team go to users here we have access to both users okay so let me just open again the multi-tenancy and yeah we have here also the using building here customizing the tenant menu so the registration link uh, the profile link billing link hiding the tenant menu items sending a positive request from a tenant menu item 
avatars, setting up avatars, configuration the tenant relationship. So you can add the ownership relationship owner here. Also, you can configure the Slack attribute because right now, let's see, in our project, if I say com command L and we have the slash admin and then slash two, which is the ID of the team and then users, but you can change that. So for example, let's change it up right now. The Slack, we can go on the tenant and say Slack attribute to be Slack. And we have the Slack on our team so let's go here open the admin panel provider and on the tenant we have passed the team model now let's add the slug attribute to be slug and let's see let's come here all right now we have admin slash two okay i'm going to go to dashboard yeah because we don't have that but just say admin and now if i say l we have admin slash laravel and if we go to users the same thing admin slash laravel slash users and if we go to filament go to users yeah we have here two users now this is the basic example of uh, multi-tenancy on laravel and filament and i created this just because I had some comments on YouTube to work with the filament shield and how we can install the filament shield on Laravel multi-tenancy. So I created this project to show you also how you can do that. And then in the next video, I'm going to install the filament shield on this project. Okay. Now, if you have some uh, questions, you can leave a comment on YouTube. And if you like such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends. See you in the next one. All the best.